Thank you so much. Well, welcome, everybody. It's a <clears throat> pleasure to be talking to you all this morning. Uh, let me just quickly run over the outline for the webinar this morning so you uh, know where we're headed. Uh, we'll quickly take a look at uh, where the current vol photovoltaics market is and then proceed on to how the uh, organic photovoltaics, OPV, and the desensitized solar cells, the DSCs, uh, how they fit into that uh, environment. From there, uh, we'll talk a bit about what applications are best suited for these technologies, where they are going to start off and where their strengths will continue to, to be drawn from in the future. And then we'll get to the materials component of the presentation. Uh, just as a scene setting point, basically uh, split them out in terms of uh, whether they're commodity materials that are broadly used in other industries or more specialized materials that are either exclusively or uh, largely used just by the OPV or DSC uh, industry. And then <clears throat> finally, we'll wrap up with some strategic conclusions and give you an opportunity to ask some questions. Um, so with the photovoltaics industry, the so-called first generation is based on crystalline silicon. Uh, this is the segment that continues to dominate the market uh, by different accounts. It uh, is responsible for 90 to 95 percent of the total market in the worldwide. Um, they have good efficiency, but the problem is that they're expensive to produce, uh, and the energy budget to produce them is is high in order to get the crystalline silicon that you need. Uh, for the substrate, and they're also heavy and fragile, so they're not suitable for the number of applications. The second generation it is what people call the, the thin film organic cluster. Uh, there are a bunch of different uh, technologies there, but um, the, in general, they've got good efficiencies. Uh, unlike the crystalline approaches, uh, many of them are suitable for roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing, which is going to be essential to drive the production cost down uh, to make them uh, affordable and, and compete with other energy sources. Um, so they're still challenged a bit by ex some expensive materials in, in their use. Uh, one of the things I want to mention in passing, sort of the late breaking news, uh, many of you are probably aware of First Solar's announcement. Um, they have a cadmium telluride uh, solar cell device that they produce. They're in commercial production, and they've announced that they now have their production costs down under the magical dollar per watt. Uh, so that's a, uh, an interesting development and has an impact for the organic photovoltaics as well. And that leads us to the thin film organic third generation uh, solar devices, uh, they are not nearly as efficient at this point as the other two types of technologies. However, there is continuing improvement on their efficiencies. They also are very suitable for roll-to-roll -roll manufacturing. The key here, though, is they're very early in their development stage. Uh, a lot of the technology is still in flux, and in fact, the bill of materials for building these devices is not yet settled, so we're... Uh, still at the stage of discovery stage and things can can shift rapidly. 